Dave here. How are you? It's a little bit sunny, so much that I'm squinting while I'm talking to you. But the advantage of having all of this sunshine is I can set up this 350 watt solar panel from Blue Eddy. I'm going to set it up here on the grass and I've got some other things that I want to talk to you about in relation to getting the power from this into the AC300. I'm around the back of the panels now. There's four individual panels that are all hooked up. I think they are in parallel, but it's all, all seen as one unit as far as the AC300 is concerned. One great thing is the support legs are on elastic straps, which means I can adjust any angle I want and pull it back. It works great. Got the four legs on the back and the cable coming from it is substantial and of course of course you have the MC4 positive and negative we're going to hook those up to a 10 meter extension lead uh, which is a, an accessory that you can get if you want and we we'll run it into the AC300 and see what happens these are the extension leads now the only problem that I have with these is not a mated pair I would like them to be together rather than having two individual things that are going to possibly um, give me a bit of grief. So my suggestion is get a couple of zippies or something and uh, stick them together. So we'll run them off from the support here. One. I'm going to head over to the AC300 with these two. Now the plug that goes into the AC300 has got four terminals and right at the top is a flat keyway. There's two other keyways there as well, but they're thinner. So you know which way to put it. That flap is at the top. So we'll push him in and then tighten it up a touch. And then we have the MC4 connectors at the end. A pair, and it will tell you DC2 and DC2 and DC1 and DC1. I'll show you. They're labeled. Don't, <laughs> don't get them mixed up. I'll take a photo so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to go DC1 and DC1. DC1. I'm going to plug the other DC1, which is this guy, into the negative. Okay, now we have that solar panel will start to power this. I do need to put the connecting cable from the AC300 down to the B300. The interesting thing with these cables is a little lock here. If you don't, when you put this in, if you don't push the lock button, it's not going to transfer power from the battery to the inverter. Battery one. I'm going to leave it unlocked for a second. And then battery one. Battery one. Let's see what happens. Lock it and lock it. We are seeing 261 watts coming in. Brilliant. That's so cool. 261 watts for free from the sun. Obviously you've got to buy the inverter and all this gear and the solar panel. But over time, these things have a way of becoming very convenient and paying themselves off. So 239, 240, and the uh, power is on here, the power is on down here. And you might notice down the bottom here, this is something I hadn't really explained before. There's five little LED lights here on the battery. These battery indicators may be a little bit confusing. This is on the B300. This is naught to 20%. When it has got to 20%, that battery light will go on full. When it gets to 40%, the second battery light will go to full. At the moment, it's 47%. So it's charging up to 60%. Now, when the 60% is full, 
when the battery's got to 60% capacity, this light will go solid and these next two will flash. Why do I want an extension lead from the solar panel back to the inverter? Well, let's say that it's, let's say that it looks like it's going to rain. I don't want this out in the rain. I want the panel out there. If I can't get the panel in in time, it's not going to worry me. Also, it gives me a good range, like this building is casting a shadow out towards the south. And I've got the panel facing the north. So this is for the southern hemisphere. And it's working brilliantly. What, what are we doing now? 247 watts. Not bad, considering that it's a fair bit of cloud in the sky as well. Anyway, if you like watching what I'm doing, and you know, obviously this isn't woodwork, but this is my other passion, solar power, and lithium ion phosphate batteries, well then give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends. See you later. Bye.